Hey everyone, it's Peter from Argo. We just put out an RNS with our August operational update. Uh, in addition to the update, we also had uh, a little bit of information about a hosting service agreement that we've signed with a third party. So I wanted to walk you through first the hosting agreement because that's something new. Uh, and then second, uh, talk about our August results. So the hosting agreement is with a, a third party, a strategic partner. Uh, I have said publicly before that this is something that we would consider that we're, that we're looking at. Um, and we have found one, um, and uh, and we believe it's a it's a mutually beneficial relationship. So they they're sending up to ten thousand S nineteen, uh, you know J pros roughly uh, th those type of machines. Uh, we, essentially thirty two megawatts worth of machines that we've agreed to host uh, at the Helios facility, uh, and that's starting right now, and that's continuing into the into the near and medium term. Uh, again, up to up to thirty two megawatts. Um, as I've said, again, we're not interested in hosting multiple parties. We're really looking for one or two strategic parties. This is what, uh, that is what this is. Uh, it's a relationship where we believe we can build out Helios uh, with, with a partner, with someone who, who brings value to the space, who knows the space, um, who, is, uh, who is strategic, uh, really, for, for lack of a better term. So this particular agreement also is a profit sharing agreement, so we will receive 25% of the Bitcoin mined from those machines that are going in. Effectively, we are increasing our hash rate uh, by hosting these third-party machines. Um, in addition to that, the third party is a, is a key player in the crypto space. Um, they, they know the space very well. They've been in it for a while, uh, and we believe that they'll be able to help open up um, you know, doors down the road, whether that's on the PPA side of things, whether that's additional financing, et cetera, et cetera. So pleased about the relationship. Uh, and, and happy to be announcing that today. In terms of our August results, um, some some you know not not the best month for us uh, to to be to be frank. Uh, we increased our hash rate by fourteen percent, so we're at two and a half exahash now of, of capacity. Uh, we're continuing to receive uh, and install our Bitmain S nineteen J Pros. Um, those are coming on time from from Bitmain. Again, the last batch batch of those will be installed. Uh, at the end of October, at which point we'll, we expect to be at 3.2 exahash in, in total capacity. Uh, again, these machines have been paid for, uh, and we've benefited some from the dynamic pricing that Bitmain has uh, as, part of, uh, as part of the contract that we have um, due to the, the, the fall in, in the price of Bitcoin. In terms of our HODL, uh, we sold about 450 Bitcoin uh, this month, ended the month just under 1,100 Bitcoin. Um, 244 of our Bitcoin in our holdings are uh, uh, Bitcoin equivalent, uh, i.e. being managed by Argo Labs. Um, again, spoken before, we have a derivatives trader that's, that's now in place and he's very focused on managing our treasury, uh, making sure he's you know, protecting the downside given all the volatility that's going on, well, as well as making sure that we are able to benefit from the upside um, that we believe is coming you know, in the medium and long term. Uh, we are still bullish on, on Bitcoin in the long term. And again, are actively using, you know, derivatives to, to make sure that we're, um, you know, getting the balancing act right. Uh, in terms of Bitcoin mined, we mined 235 Bitcoin for the month. Uh, that's a 7% 7 increase from the prior month. Um, you know, we were expecting to mine more. Uh, we're disappointed with this number. Uh, we've had a significant amount of downtime from curtailment due to high power prices in Texas. Um, in terms of mining margin, our mining margin came in at 20%. Um, which is obviously a disappointment as well. Um, one driver is the price of Bitcoin. It's down 11% for the month. Uh, the main driver is, is the cost of power in, in Texas right now. Um, you know, it's, it's been an in incredibly hot summer, and given kind of all of the macro factors uh, that are driving the price of energy, um, uh, you know, it's, it's been much more expensive than it normally is in Texas through the summer, even with the spot uh, price uh, uh, PPA like we have right now. Uh, one of the reasons we decided to build uh, in Texas and, and to build up Helios was that historically it has some of the lower power, lowest power prices in, in, in North America. Uh, over the past 10 years, you know, power prices have typically been in the three to four cent range. And that's before you do, uh, you know, the ancillary, ancillary services where it can get you down uh, sub two cents. Um, this year, prices are closer to, you know, eight, nine, even 10 cents. Uh, and again, the primary driver is kind of these macro factors and led by the elevated price of natural gas. Uh, it is true that wind and solar make up, you know, a large portion, uh, a third of the energy mix in Texas, 
there's still a lot of natural gas that is generated there. And so that also drives the, the price uh, of energy in Texas. And, and natural gas is up for, for a couple of reasons. Obviously, the first being the war in Ukraine. Um, and the second being that the United States has, has entered the year with a record low amount of natural gas in its reserves. Um, those of you that are in Europe, uh, you know, are, are obviously much closer to the war in Ukraine and these rising energy prices. Um, so I think, you know, you, you are also feeling this in, in some ways. Um, we believe that both of these factors are, are temporary um, and that we continue to believe that Texas is, is still the right place to be long term. Uh, we are working to get, uh, you know, our PPA, our, our, our fixed price PPA signed. Again, hoping that that happens this fall and, and have every uh, reason to believe that it will. Um, and, you know, there's been some short term pain through the summer for sure. Um, so that's kind of where we're at uh, for, for the month of August. Um, just one note, um, you know, we continue to think that we are one of the most transparent miners that's, that's in the space. Uh, we put out our mining margin every month. I think we're the only company that does that. Um, even when we have a bad month, we're transparent and we put it out. We strongly believe in, in you know, communicating with our shareholders and, and, and being honest about where we're at. Um, and, uh, and we hope you, you all respect that. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, much appreciated. Onwards and upwards. Thank <laughs> you.